Hello, everybody. Welcome to Bermanology. This is a special edition of the show. I'm out here at Westerville North High School, the home of a player that a lot of you folks out there have been looking forward to hearing more from over the last two months. Enough talking from me. Let's just get right to it. Jay Cook. What's going on? Big day. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, you are now committed to the Ohio State Buckeyes. Yes, sir. How yep. great does that feel to hear? Mm -hmm. Um I mean, you've, you've probably been replaying it in your mind over yep. the last week since you got the offer last Saturday night. Yeah. Like, how crazy is it? I mean, it was a it was a fun phone call. Obviously, you know, Coach Fry hit me up on Saturday and uh, I just I couldn't really I didn't really, you know, kind of process what was going on until like I'd say Sunday morning is when it really hit me. But, uh, you know, I'm just blessed, you know, being from Ohio. It's a great opportunity to go to Ohio State and just compete against the best, work against the best. And, get developed by the coaches and stuff so, yeah you know jake this we talked a little bit about it throughout the week but this has been a very long road yep. you started going to camps at ohio state the summer heading into your freshman year of, yep. of high school you have had two years where i, I think people saw a lot of potential mm -hmm. they weren't sure that you were ever going to be able to put it in the right places right yep the last year, you got a brand new coaching staff here Sorry. at Westerville North. It is extremely Ohio State heavy. Yep. I mean, there are how many former Buckeyes are on this coaching staff? We've got Stanley Jackson as the head coach, Winfield Garnett, yep. uh, Chris Wells, Beanie Wells. Like, how many yeah. other? Pretty much our whole staff except uh, Marcus Ray. He was a he's yeah. at the team up north. Yeah, but That's he's good. a Columbus guy. Yeah, yep, he so is he, a Columbus guy. We'll give him that. Yep. You know, those guys come in here and. I don't know if, if they just realized that maybe there was a different way to change you mm -hmm. because when I saw you in Canton at yeah. the Under Armour camp in, at the end of April, I walked up to you and I said, Jake, what the hell happened? You look yep. like a totally different person. Yes, sir. Uh, and then that day, Ryan Day was there and mm -hmm. he was seemingly pretty interested in what you were doing. And then we yep. get a, you know, a month later, you go to the Rivals camp, dominate there, win the MVP there like you did at Under Armour. Yep. Did it start to feel like a reality at that point or was it, or, or I don't want to say inevitability because yeah. even up until last Saturday night and when mm -hmm. you got the phone call about the offer, I think yeah. that there was still a little bit of like reluctance, but yeah. when did this start to feel real? Um, I would say probably after the rivals camp, that was uh, just kind of seeing like how the hard work kind of paid off for me. And then just obviously going, especially at that rivals camp, there was a lot of top, top talent there on the D line and just, being those guys on one-on-ones and stuff. So I would say definitely after the Rivals camp, it started to really pick up for me. I was excited. You come to Ohio State for camp on June 5th. Yeah. Extremely competitive day, a very high energy performance. We've, yep. we've joked about the amount of vomit that yep. you put left yes, on the field yes, there sir. at Ohio Stadium that day. Yep. I, you know, there was a, a couple in-state offensive linemen that they were evaluating that day, mm -hmm. one of them, committed to Wisconsin the day after. So yep. obviously the conversation with Nolan Davenport was slightly different than the conversation they had with you. Yes, sir. Yep. Um, at that point, you and Justin Fry keep talking and yep. he says, I'd like you to come back for a private workout a week later. Yep. In your mind, are you like, are you serious, bro? Or is it like, okay, I'll do it, but mm -hmm. I don't want to, but if it's what I have to do, like where, how did you, because that, that private workout happened after your official visit to Louisville. Yep. Like how, how hard was it to, to hear, we need to see a little bit more. So at first, I mean, it was, uh, I was kind of disappointed just having to do another workout, obviously, but not for doing another workout, yeah. but you know, just having to come work out again. But, uh, towards the end, I kind of realized like, obviously talking with coach day, like where they were at with my junior season film and they just needed to get more film on me. So obviously. Just Wednesday, I woke up. I was like, all right, I'm going to go do this. And I got there and uh, just started working out on center. It was my first time doing center. So I think I did pretty good with it. You spent about an hour, hour and 10 minutes working out, mostly center drills, as you said, yep. some some stuff at guard. But, you know, you played center as a freshman, correct? A little bit? Uh, left guard. Left Sophomore guard? Sophomore year, I played uh, center for like one game. Okay, that so was I, it. one of your coaches said you had played it in a game. But yeah, yep. Big one when you make that adjustment mm -hmm. and now heading into your senior season i was told that the plan is to play you basically all over the line yeah. some center some guard some tackle wherever is needed yes, sir. to because that's one of the reasons why ohio state likes you there's yep. versatility you can do a lot of things yep 
when when you get that call, how do you practice being a center? Like, do you tell your dad, I need you to stand in the backyard? Yeah. Take, it's actually really hard to catch <laughs> yep. a, a snap when you don't know what's coming. Yep, yes, sir. So uh, pretty much, like, I'll come out here with uh, our quarterback, Ronald Jackson, once a day. I'll just go through, like, what Coach Fry kind of told me to do, like, as a warm-up. I'll normally get about 100 snaps in a day. And I'm never just snapping, like, just throwing the ball between my legs. I'm always moving left to right, forward, backwards, just – trying to get comfortable in that position. So, yeah. You got the call and I, I apologize folks. We're just kind of bouncing around this story because I think the coolest thing about this, Jake, is that, you know, as an Ohio kid, there is an entire state of people mm -hmm. who have been personally invested in your story in the, since the Akron uh, Canton Under Armour yeah. camp. Sir. How does that feel to know? I mean, you, you see, you pay attention, mm -hmm. you see what people are saying online, you watch yeah. like, is that, shocking to see that happen a little bit yeah i mean you're living everyone's yeah, dream yeah, you know i mean yes, that's sir. that's the reality you yep. are living the dream of every guy who's grown up playing football in the state of ohio so yep. yes sir th it has to be it's, cool yeah it's 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 definitely surreal it's just all a blessing i would say i'm just super excited ready to work i mean appreciate everybody having my back and just supporting me through the way so yeah and now the real pressure begins you yep. right like because now you're committed to Ohio State, and yep. you have a, a chance now to not just live everyone's dream, but, mm -hmm. you know, who are the guys that you grew up watching, you know, the Pat Elflines of the world, the, oh, yeah. the Billy Prices Billy of the Price, world, yeah, yep. that now, Josh Myers, all those guys, the, those kids, the, the kids coming into Westerville North are going to yep. be like, oh, Jake Cook played here. Like, yep. are you ready for that? And how do you have to continue to grow? Or where do you see the area that, like, from now to the time you will enroll, how, how yeah. do you see that playing out? It's pretty much just keeping my head down and just working. I, I want to go in there, just get known early as one of those guys that just works and does what he can for the team. So I'm just going to be the best that I could be every day and just work out my craft each day, try to get better. I, it's fascinating because you're, you're now, your situation now is pretty unique. I mean, yes, you're a local kid. Campus is 20 minutes away. Yep. You're a couple hours away from heading into campus for your official visit yep. and you really don't know anyone yeah like so you're going in committed mm -hmm. uh but this is a big weekend carter yeah. Lowe will be back in town visiting yep, i was just talking uh, with him today actually Car carter's in there david sanders coming into town the number yep. one offensive lineman in the country you'll have tavian st Clair. you'll have mm -hmm. devin sanchez naeem offer jordan davison dorian Bruce. like yeah. this is a big weekend yep yes sir so like how easy is it to immediately put on hat of recruiter yeah, I mean, it's it'll be easy for me, obviously. Like, I would think being an Ohio kid, you know, I can kind of mingle my way talking to these guys, try to get them over here. But I'm just excited to meet all the other commits. And then, obviously, that whole line room, I'm pretty much friends with about everyone. Luke, Armstrong Twins, Josh, Austin, all those guys. So, I'm excited. We yeah. have... I mean, to be, to be honest, people, we're recording this four days ahead of time. So... A lot of things can happen between now and then, yeah, but yeah. The, right now, I know about what's happening. Justin Fry knows about what's happening. You know about what's happening. Who else knows? And have you had the conversation with your family? How yep. have, how have they? Is everyone just walking on clouds in the yeah, last two my, days? My dad is definitely. Uh, he didn't believe me at first because I was actually I just got done golfing when a uh, coach Fry called me, and I don't even think. I'd assume Coach Day would know, but he told me he was like, let's announce it like at the dinner table on Sunday night or whatever. So I was like, all right, let's do that. So I think it's just my family, Coach Fry and me and you that know. But, uh, you know, my family was super excited. They were definitely just a surreal moment because they've all been a part of the journey as well, especially my dad just buying food, taking me to schools, camps, et cetera. So, yeah. There are so many great things about this process. Mm -hmm. And you again are, are really it's a cool story to look out from a, a ten thousand foot view because again we've been watching you since you were in eighth grade to this yep. moment Sorry. and there are hard parts about this you mm -hmm. know you committed to louisville back in february yep. you have obviously had a great relationship with the coaching staff there mm -hmm. the, the idea of having to tell them sorry but it's ohio state like yeah. have you thought about how to best approach that I think, you know, like obviously the coaches at Louisville, they've always been straight up with me. So, I mean, I'm just going to take it in and probably say a prayer before that. I'm going to just tell them straight up. I don't want to like mess around with them. Just I'm going to just be honest with them, tell them what's going on. And 
it, it's mm-hmm. it's very unfortunate in some ways because mm-hmm. I think that the coaching staff there has to understand like yeah. this is Ohio State. It's it's yep. a different thing. Like your bedroom walls in your house yep. have Ohio State stuff on them. Exactly. You know, every closet in your home, yours, your your dad's, your mom, like it's yep. Ohio State clothes. Like it's sure. a different world. So yep. you know it is a business mm-hmm. and you'll find that out and you've already found that out i mean you've yep. seen the business side of this in the last couple months of how Sorry. how difficult this can be but when you do take a f- step back after this weekend and after the official visit and you know the dead period hits and you can sit back and relax what is the one thing that you're gonna like take away from how this process went that that the kid who is walking through these gates at westville north is gonna say jake how did you do that like mm-hmm. what is what's the message uh like this is kind of the thing i told coach day in his office is really just like pushing through adversity I, th- I think i saw a lot of that freshman year i was kind of on an incline and then obviously we all know sophomore year i took a big drop like obviously weighing too much and just not performing to the way i could so i would just say going through adversity like i give a lot of credit you know coach grant our wrestling coach i think he's in, just got inducted to the hall of fame over here he uh He's helped me a lot, a lot on the way, just losing weight and stuff. So, yeah, it's just pushing through adversity. That's the main thing I would say. You it's did wrestle thing. last year, right? Yep. Was yes, that sir. the first time you'd done it? Uh, yeah. Well, freshman year, sophomore year, I couldn't because I weighed too much, and then got right back down. I, I think I played junior year at like two ninety eight, and then I just dropped right away for wrestling two eighty five. You know, it's funny. Like those are the things that college coaches are like oh now he's a wrestler like yeah. uh, yeah. it actually opens eyeballs and, mm-hmm. and yes, sir. there are there are things you've done and so for people out there watching if you have a, a a young you know football player in your house like the the effort you put in at ohio state on june 5th mm-hmm. the effort you put back in on june 12th the willingness to be patient in a time when kids are not generally willing to be patient yeah like those are the things that made the difference and those are the, those are the those are the steps that had to happen for you to be and this is i think an ohio high school football issue mm-hmm. because the state of ohio we are still behind here yeah. like you're you're 18 yep. months behind offensive exactly. linemen in georgia exactly. you know yep. and so if you're a kid in ohio if you're a parent in ohio and you think ohio state's supposed to offer me like it's really hard to get an ohio state football scholarship offer and you have to earn it and those little steps that you took are the reason mm-hmm. that you've got to this point and uh it's been awesome yes, being a, a part of this and we are excited to see where it goes and as i said now you know the, the real hard work begins yep. yes, uh sir. the expectations begin and the putting around the recruiter hat begins, yes, which is the important part. Because Ohio State fans, there's one mm-hmm. question people always ask when a commitment happens. Mm-hmm. And do you know what that is? Nope. Who's next? Exactly. Yep. I can there, see that. Yep. There, there is no, they're going to celebrate the heck out of Jay mm-hmm. Cook today, but who's next? And so now you get to be sure. a part of that. And yep. uh, congratulations. It is awesome. At some point, you're going to like sit down and cry about all this, and it's going to yeah. be emotional. And, yep. uh, you know, that's okay. You should, because yep. you have uh, put in the work to get here. He's Jake Cook. He's Ohio State's latest commitment. He's number 17 in the class of 2025. And now he's got a lot of work to do this weekend because David Sanders is coming to town and yes, got to get him. We're going to get him. Yes sir. yes, sir. I'm Jeremy Birmingham. He's Jake Cook. Thanks for watching this episode of Bermanology on the podcast. We'll see you later.